Hey guys. So my drill press isn't a reversing drill press, it's just an old one. Um, I have it set with the belts to be in the lowest speed right now. This switch, <laughs> it's just hanging on here. What I've done is disconnected the hard wire into the start capacitor over there and just put the switch in series with it. So by turning the switch to on right this minute, now it's like normal. Okay, it starts up just like normal because the, the rung capacitor is in there. But when you have it off, it won't run. It just buzzes. You have to actually start the spindle moving when it's in that um, configuration. So I'm going to tap my hole and I'm going to show you why I did this. All right, so we shut it off now. We're down into the hole. Now, by turning this start capacitor off, now what I can do, and I don't ever recommend doing this because you're, you're grabbing onto a piece of machine equipment, but it's in the lowest torque setting and there's really nothing for me to get caught on. So I'm safe enough to do it. You know, the tap's way down in. So I'm just going to give it one good spin and hit the switch and that should allow it to run in reverse and back out. And there we go. So little quick interesting video if you want to try that obviously i'll have to attach the switch better and not have bare wires hanging out <laughs> but i wanted to do it for a test to see if the concept worked and it worked perfect see ya